Good morning. Welcome back to the program. Uh, before we continue with our first guest, a big thanks to Grand Mountain Bank, uh, your hometown bank. Four locations across Grand County, and they are locally owned and operated. Uh, GrandMountainBank.com. My first guest today is Frank Reeves, Superintendent of Grand County or East Grand East School Grand, District. Right. And uh, Frank, welcome back to the program. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. Appreciate having the opportunity to spread the good word of East Grand. Yeah. Last time, last time we had John, it was a relatively new gig for you, coming from a. Uh, I guess you came to the bigger district. So right, yeah. uh, how were we a year in? Oh, status it's, check. How are we doing? It's been great. Um, uh, really, probably better than expected. And uh, just love the communities. Um, been out hiking and and fishing and doing everything that that we could do all summer. And, and boy, we just love it up here. So and the been, school district's been great. You've been getting out and enjoying it. Uh, what, what's a favorite hike you might be able to share with someone? Wow, favorite hike. Uh, you know, we did Devil's Thumb and... It's a favorite hike, but I'll probably never do it again. Yeah, it's a grinder, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And if you so. get up there the right time of year, uh, right when you get out of the trees, the flowers up there are just beautiful coming through that, uh, you know, yeah, out right. of tree line right. there. I think we were a little early because there was still plenty of snow. Oh, you were still <laughs> hacking snowshoes yeah. and then crampons. But, uh, but no, that's great. So you're a year down. Um, school is around the corner. So yes. it's back to school time. Time to get your pencils and right. I don't know if they still use number two lead. Probably not now, but uh, now no, it's iPads key. and yeah, right. right. Get your, your wand ready but yeah uh, but yeah so what's uh, what's going on back to school time here well today's the first day back for for teachers and and uh we have some training going on over at fraser valley with all of our elementary from granby and and fraser and then our, our middle school and high school we're we're doing some other training on um actually on the the survey climate surveys that parents and and students and teachers took at the end of last year so been running around all day and it's been great to watch. It's kids, like the first kids, day are, of kids are back to school going the week before Labor Day. Yep, they start next Monday, week and, from today. And the older kids uh, are back to school permanently. That's the whole week. Right. The younger kids are still on kind of a trial week, right? They do right. Like Monday, testing and Monday and Tuesday they come in for testing times. Uh, parents are notified when their kids come in and and they they do their their level testing to know where kids are at. And they do that Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday everybody's back in. So Monday morning okay. at about 8 a.m. we'll start hearing the sound of uh, champagne bottles popping across the county as kids are going back to school and the parents are... Uh, right. Yeah, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, a lot, lot of exciting things going on this year with back to the school. Um, I know sports is always a big one. So yep. are sports underway? Are the practices going Practice. on for football? And, yep. uh, practices started last week. Um, football has, I believe, over 50 kids out. It's a big number for our... I mean, yeah. we have a, what's, how, how big is the high school? Do you know population? About 375 kids. Okay. You know, and so if you take half boys. It's All about four grades though is 375. Yep. Okay. Um, about 180, 185 boys. So to have 50 out. Uh, and, and I should say there is one, one female playing. Nice. A freshman kicker and, and uh, it's great. And to have those kind of numbers is, is just fun. It's, the coaches are motivated. It's, it's a lot more fun to practice. We have volleyball coming off uh, their state tournament. The state run, right. Trip and, and um, uh, they, is it a rebuilding year? Or do well, we know? <laughs> in some positions. Yeah. There, it always is, unfortunately, because you've got graduate, graduating as, seniors. As so. Coach Lappin told me, their back line, they need to rebuild a little bit and they need to find a, a good setter, but their hitters are, are pretty much all back. So kind of a, a mix match and um, she's pretty excited about the opportunities though, nice. for them. And then we have a cross country that is rebuilding this year. Um, and uh, Soccer that again has shoot men's, women's, kids both. Out. men's, men's, soccer, women, okay. women's in the fall. So they have, I think, 32, 33 kids out. So a lot of opportunities, um, a lot of kids taking advantage of the opportunities. Nice. So. And so you said about 370 students in the high school? Yeah, 370 to 380. Give or take. So is it enrollment been, we've been seeing increasing enrollment, decreasing, about kind of steady eddy? Great question. They, in the past couple of years, we've been fairly steady, a little bit of loss. Um, right now, it's, it's hard to say because we, we go off of the, the state requires an October count um, to really determine our attendance, but we've had a tremendous amount of new enrollment in the past two weeks. And, you know, some we get notifications of, of kids are gone, but certainly much more enrollment than, than what we've lost. So fingers crossed that we're growing. Nice. So you said uh, they do an October count. Yes. Now we have a unique industry here where some, a lot of people and families will come to town to work for the right. winter in the ski right. area, and that doesn't start till November. So, do you see some <laughs> enrollment yes. challenges with kids coming after the? We do, we do. and and we get we get some of that uh, from families, but not near as much as like our our competitive ski program. Uh, we get a lot of kids from all over the United States and all over the world that usually come in about the first of November. So, you know, they don't they don't really count for our funding count, 
but uh, it's still worth having them, I and mean, it's good for kids. And still worth having them. You guys are still worth something, right? No. <laughs> right. No, uh, yeah, that's always interesting that, uh, right, they do the count, and then we still end up having class sizes grow after that. Right. So from a funding standpoint, yep. it can be a challenge for you guys. Sometimes it is, yeah. A unique challenge of being up in the mountains. <laughs> exactly. one, of, one of the many that I'm sure you've learned over the last year. Right, it's, coming it's from, different, uh, yep. Uh, you, weren't, you were from a more agricultural area, yes. less uh, Eastern tourist Plains. area, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure a tourist ever stopped in Hugo. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, so school's starting up, Hugo, is that where it was? Hugo, H-U-G-O, yes. okay. That's a new one for me too. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, so school's back up and uh, everyone's got to cut a fee f for the school year, is that right? Well, um, our board voted in June to get rid of the, the $70 student fee that we required of every kid, um, which is great. You know, our, the board's done a great job and our schools and everybody's done a great job the past five or six years. Once the economy started turning around and getting better, we've been able to build up our reserves back to where they're they're pretty solid so and the so, 70 dollars thing because i mean obviously it costs a lot more than 70 bucks a student to run a school sure so I, you know this isn't to pay for the teacher's wages or no. anything how did this come about or where did the fee come from the student fee really comes from paying for the and it, i shouldn't say they're extra things because they're part of a curriculum but like science labs or you know so when we got to go buy frog legs or you know well, for kind labs of like an like activity that or, fee for anything else i got you for, for school yeah for it's, it's just school. like it's just like a sports fee for a class but you were able to get some money out of the budget to, yeah. to put towards that, so that gives everyone else a little right. breath we, of fresh we, air. We so. felt comfortable that we can, we can you know, pull it out of our budget and not have it impact all the families. So that nice. was, that was a, I think, a great thing the board did to get rid of that. Nice piece. little bonus for any family that has, especially some that have several kids. So. Right. So, right. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk a little more about the budget and uh, kind of what else we got going on. Going into the back to school. And right. So, uh, Exciting we're, times. We're back to it. So once again, Frank Reeves, superintendent of East Grand School District, and we'll be back in a moment.